Hi, I'm Rob and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of really fun teams I'm going to be using for this Crypt Keepers Faction Assault. Now there is a new troop available as well, so you can get this really cheaply and easily. Just make sure you pop to the shop when you go there and make sure you buy up to Tier 3. You get the Potion of Enchantment with Tier 1 and some other stuff and get Tier 2 and Tier 3 you get the Crypt Hound, absolutely guaranteed. Now make sure you do not go to the faction and spend your shards trying to get this thing because it's a new troop, it is only available in the shop at the time of making this video. It drains 7 from an enemy and either death marks, silences or curses all enemies which in certain situations can be super useful indeed. So absolutely certainly worth getting. Now on tier 4 there's a weapon as well, this is Secrets of the Crypt steals life from the two weakest enemies and summons a random undead. So it's not bad, but it's not fantastic. It's best, it can be really useful because this is effectively true damage. It is bypassing armor and you are adding the life you take onto your own. So very useful in that aspect, but I don't like the way these things target, like for example, the weakest enemies in, in this case. You have no choice who it hits. One of those enemies could be on four life or even one life and about to die anyway and it's like it's almost wasted on one of those enemies but it is what it is that may be useful in some situations and now onto the uh team itself got a really really fun team i'm using here at the moment um makes really short work of this now the way i like to go about these events quite often is a damage to all team and it doesn't get much better than this to be honest we got Black Manacles in the first place, dealing damage to all enemies with a 20% chance to devour a random enemy. And starting with 50% mana, because we're going to be in Titan class for a very particular reason I'll explain in a minute. And then we got three of the Great Worms. These deal damage to all enemies as well, but this time boosted by skulls. So that is going to be a heavy amount of damage because we also create two skulls when my turn begins. But we got three of these guys, so that is going to be six skulls at the beginning of each turn. Which is going to be absolutely chaos for the team. Now the reason why we're in a Titan class for this is because all the giant allies start with 50% mana, which is the hero. But there's three of the talents in particular which work hand in hand with each other and are essential for the way this team works. Storm Aura, create a dust storm at the start of the battle, is brown. But we gain a barrier when matching brown gems. Now this is really important. We can be creating a ton of skulls with those three great worms. Six every single turn. And a lot of those will make a four match and gain an automatic extra turn. But when they don't, we don't want to get hit with our own skulls on the AI's next turn. So gaining that barrier and matching brown gems protects us basically from our own potential damage. And also bloodthirsty. Become enraged on four or five gem matches. Super useful those skulls we hit are going to be doing extra damage when we get four matches so this team practically runs itself we want brown anyway for the hero so it works really really well um, and if you don't have the great worms you can throw in anybody else that does uh, damage to all just go down to your search bar type in damage to all and all the troops that are here that do damage to all atlanta is a really really good shout she has fantastic battle dress sense um, but don't look at the damage initially and think that's what it is. Pop them into the team first, and then have a look. Then your bonus stats have been applied, and you'll see that Atlanta, for example, in my case, now actually does 52 damage to all enemies, not the um, starting damage of 33. So it does make a difference. Enchantress, for example, says 21 damage to all there. But pop, pop her in the team. And she sounds like she's falling down the stairs there. But um, yeah, she actually does 30 damage to all enemies. That is quite an interesting sound she makes there, actually. Sounds like she's falling down the stairs. Anyway, I'm getting carried away with amusing myself with um, the Enchantress falling down the stairs. But So let's pop the three Great Worms back in the, um, the team again. And should have done it the other way around, really, but never mind, we'll get there. So, if you can run this team, it's going to be super, super easy. 
We are going to have the Dark Fey Banner, plus two purple, plus one yellow, minus one green. So, Titan Class, Crick Banner, good to go. When you get, obviously, Tier 1 as well, you're going to get the Potion of Enchantment, which means all the troops start enchanted at the start of every battle. There's our Skulls. We didn't create any four matches there. So, when you haven't got a barrier, quite often I'll just get a barrier. Like that, we've got the barrier, we've got the damage up. We can do skulls or we can do this if we want for the sake of speed. I'll just get rid of them quickly. So you've got the option. You can do the damage to wall and you've got a combined total of all those great worms cast together. So they'll be able to cast back to back because of the potion of enchantment as well as the black manacles. And that also has a chance of devour. But if you don't have that, again, just look at damage to wall weapons and pick the best one. Now the quickest way to do this is to just zip straight across the middle to the end. Only three battles required before you'll be able to claim your rewards. But if you like, when you get to this stage, you will be able to then actually grab the remaining rooms if you want. You can go and do the, the, the battles in there if you want to increase the room treasure multiplier. For the sake of the video and speed, I'm just going to be ridding straight across to the end in the fastest way possible. So we've got a um, nice hit already without having to actually do anything. Skulls appear, we can cast black manacles or we can we'll get the barrier. More skulls appear. Pretty unlucky then, maybe we didn't get a uh, some four matches from that. So we'll cast manacles. Got a barrier. It'd be really important on the later stages to make sure you keep on getting the uh, barrier by collecting brown. You do not want to get hit by your own skulls. You can win battles simply by collecting, collecting brown and not really doing anything with this team. It really does work like that. If I just collect brown now, skulls will, will appear. Sometimes you'll get them automatically. Sometimes you won't. It decided we won't this time. So we'll collect yellow as well. We'll collect brown now. They hit the skulls, which didn't do anything because we had the barrier. We'll collect brown again. They do nothing. This is more a fun team than anything. You can obviously collect the barrier and brown at the same time. Like what you'd ordinarily do is obviously cast all these because I'm just doing this just for fun. More skulls, more death. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll play how you should be playing it. And that's basically to pick the option of skulls when it's available or do the damage to all when it's available as well. But at the same time, being mindful of making sure you have a, a barrier at the same time, a lot of the time when you can. Do not want to get bashed into oblivion by your own skulls. Skulls will appear. But if none of four matches, then you can basically get a barrier straight away. They'll do a skull match, which is irrelevant. We can do a load of damage like that. And everybody is now pretty much dead. Because the first Great Worm got charged up. So basically, with a team like this, you've got four troops which are going to do a damage to all. And the combination of um, damage is what you're basically looking at. So what we're going to do is just ever so quickly... So this is about a potion of explosion. I don't actually like it sometimes. You had a really nice match there and it gets taken away sometimes. So we've got 53 damage to all enemies and three lots of 61 damage to all enemies. So that's 183 plus the uh, 53. So over 230 combined total damage. That's without the skulls that are going to match. All these, these skulls that just automatically align make it even easier. Skulls appear, more auto hits. Rock solid made it easy and then enraged as well so it's a uh, especially on the later stages what you're going to want to do is make sure you get four matches at the same time as well 
to get the enraged. It's kind of a lazy team, because there's literally nothing to think about, but sometimes you just want to watch Godzilla rather than read Moby Dick, don't you? It's like you just want something where you can just turn your brain off and then just come along for the ride and have a nice easy time of things. And that's what this team is all about, making life easy for yourself. We now cast our manacles. Stole the fear, just didn't have to do anything. The game just killed the last enemy for me in a very easy way. Of course, when you're done, you should go and make sure you grab your rewards. You can get these at any point as they're done. Right, so that's that team. That's a really easy team to use. Um, but obviously, there are other alternatives as, as, as well. If you've got the mythic troops, then there'd be some really good ways to go about that. Let's put it in base rarity. The Foenicia team would be really good for this. A very powerful troop. Even some other um, non-mythics, like a Queen Titania. You could have like a Zul Golf team here. Queen Titania would be a good team. She'd be very handy. Let's go to her. 40 damage initially, but put it in there and it's actually a 59. And that's boosted by red enemies and, and allies, so that is quite good. But I... Really like that fairy fire on her as well. So that makes the damage even more. So let's um, just have a quick experiment with. Uh, let's have a bit of fun. Let's chuck three of them in there. Banner is still okay. But we can do better than that. Let's go. That's actually pretty good. We'll keep that one there for the minute. That's no good because we've got minus on the brown, which we do not want. Right, so that one will do because we've still got three the red troops anyway, so that is fine. We'll roll with that for now. Just a quick experiment, see how this does. Because the fairy fire is really, really cool. 50% extra damage from spells from fairy fired, from troops affected by fairy fire. Affected by fairy fire. It's quite hard to say when. Um, it's early in the morning, like it is for me. Anyway, so 59 damage to all enemies, boosted by red enemies and allies. So the boost is 24, so this is going to be a nice easy way to go about this. And that's without the effect of fairy fire, so with the fairy fire troops as well, it's going to be super easy. Wall of Bones. Can cast this if you like. Gives a nice head start on the the damage. Titania will be ready to go by the next turn. Got two troops fairy fired there already, so they're going to die anyway. But basically, they're going to get extra damage from from that. A troop afflicted with fairy fire takes 50% extra damage from damaging spell effects, so it's going to be absolutely plenty. So another good way to go is three Queen Titanias if you have them with something like Black Manacles. But basically, your best damage to all troops is a really, really nice way to go with this. And I do like that great Worm field, um, team just for fun. we will do that. There's a lot of purple there. One of those deceiving moments where it looks like you must be able to make a four match, but... Maybe, in fact, you can't. So we'll do that anyway. Now Queen Titania will finish off. 
and then the second one was ready to go as well the third one would have, would have been available to go in a couple of turns time yeah so nice and easy and this is the teams i'm going to use i may just stick with this one actually i'm quite enjoying this one with uh green titania so there it is there's my teams for this and a couple of different ways you can go about it um if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you again later because i'm going to make my um leo team later the new mythic and see what i can come up with with him so be sure to check back later